Hello! We have just come out of the Victor and Rolf Couture Show. Um, really exciting to stuff to talk about. Last season was a best bits of Victor and Rolf, so all their um, iconic looks and um, heritage shapes and things you look at instantly and you're like, oh, that amazing Victor and Rolf moment from the 90s, how fantastic. So it was a reimagining of all um, their most recognisable looks. This season, completely different. I should add, last season was all white. This season, completely different. A rainbow, a um, little clue in the invite here with this pinky blue um, and the insig insignia here. Um, rainbow of colours and a slightly different message from last season. So I feel last season was just a reminder about what's good and wonderful about Victor and Rolf Couture and um, just realigning themselves as um, one of the key names on the schedule. This season very much felt like they were using their platform to send a message. So lots and lots and lots of full length, full to the floor, pyramid shaped dresses, a bit like Molly Goddard, but on steroids. <laughs> um, huge, huge cascading levels of tulle. I was told that they had used around six kilometers of tulle for this collection, which is borderline obscene, but um, fantastic. And if you can't do it for couture, when can you do it? Um, all these rainbow, some with amazing structural shoulders, big, dramatic, kind of leg of mutton sleeves, um, but mostly just this amazing pyramid shape over and over. Um, but atop these dresses were statements and slogans, um, slightly with slight political undertone. Some of them were saying, get mean, and some of them were saying, um, fuck this, I'm going to Paris, and some of them say, I'm not shy, I just don't like you, or like, I'm not late, I'm sorry I'm late, I just didn't want to come, or things like that. So the duo backstage was saying that this just felt like the time to be doing this collection, they needed to be um, using this platform to say how they feel and making a statement, and they said this collection is a fashion statement, um, and they were saying it's the world we live in now, so um, at first I began to think that this was um, more of an Instagram fodder um, move, which it was to some extent because phones were literally going bananas, um, taking pictures and um, capturing slogans. And I'm sure Instagram's going to be like inundated with Victor and Rolf posts. So on the one hand, slightly smart um, Instagram fodder, but actually we were saying the other day that um, John Batista Valley is a dream and a fantasy feminine escape and all this cascading tool um, and away from all the dystopian commentary that's been provided by men's wear for so long and we were like oh actually I suppose couture is the dream the dream escape you, you don't necessarily get political undertones with couture unless you're Galliano from Magella. Um but this was this was literally arguing everything we'd said at the Valley show it was cascades of tool with a political undertone um, and plain comment to the world that we're in now. I would say some of the phrase, some of the phrases were slightly more Instagram follow than political. Um, <laughs> no pictures, please. No pictures, please. That kind of thing. Um, but again, that, um, that ties into what we've been saying as well about trying to reach to a younger customer, um, which it seems like a lot of these couture brands and couture houses are trying to do. Some of these slogans feel like a gif or a, a meme or something that you would very easily regram if you felt felt the same as what the statement was saying. I can see lots of um, 17, 18 year olds regramming these images, not only because they're dramatic princess dresses, um, but because the slogan's quite fun and it might mean something, or I can see hashtag mood flying around <laughs> all over Instagram. So a smart collection from both vantage points, reaching a new clientele potentially, and also um, what better way to get your message out there than giant on front of giant, giant um, dresses. And I will say that if you took away the statements um, and were left with these cascading long haired models in beautiful um, rainbow tulle and ruffles, that the dresses themselves did really stand out. Um, aside from the few that were definitely created to fit a phrase on, there was one that was basically, um, it looked a bit like one of those lace cake topper things you do to put to avoid getting flies on your food, just <laughs> literally vast. Um, Obviously that size I'm assuming is created purely so that they can fit the large slogan on. But um, for the majority, if you took the slogans off, the clothes were actually really beautiful um, and wonderfully romantic. And I really loved that duality of these really abrupt um, cartoonish statements with this real fairy tale um, princess aesthetic. So 
um, quite a fun show actually. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think it really was. And one of the things that I was thinking again was back to our Vali review. And I was saying, oh, it's so feminine and fabulous, which that is. Mm. So obviously the idea of these being bigger and more chill, mm. it should be it was more feminine and more fabulous. Whereas actually it was quite weird to look at and yeah. it didn't feel feminine in the way that Vali did at all. It felt a lot it just it felt a lot more odd and was quite jarring in a mm. way because these these women were caped in these things you couldn't see how they moved you couldn't see they didn't look like they were walking because there were so many layers of tool <laughs> that they that the outside layer didn't move yeah. so they kind of floated along they had ridiculously long hair extensions <laughs> that were just kind of rapunzel esque definitely rapunzel esque you know past the bum and it was just it was so it was so interesting and such a great parody on what we've seen and I think, you know, Victor and Wolf have been doing parodies or statements since 93. Mm. And I think it's really, you kind of need that energy in the same way that people say we need Diet Prada. We just need these people to kind of just say, is this really what you want? Is this where we're going to go? Is everyone wanting tons of tall dresses? What if we do them like this? Is anyone going to try and do them bigger than us? <laughs> you know? And it kind of puts the whole thing into perspective a little bit. And in a really beautiful way like the clothes are great but also you do think like oh god that is just a massive waste of fabric <laughs> you know I mean? and I'm not in a horrible way but you start thinking oh god yeah that actually yeah. is six kilometres of fabric yeah to create these things that are obscene mm. and but I mean this all in a positive way like it just makes you think a little bit more than if they're just presented very beautiful dresses, dresses. or slogan t-shirts that's you know? true that is something that Victor and Wolf do is they always in, just as we were saying of Galliano with Margiela makes you think this is a slightly different making of you think um, making of you think <laughs> you know what I mean um, and they've had dolls heads before and models plus part art part not before yeah. and it's always a commentary of some sort I believe um, so definitely made us think definitely yeah. definitely um, definitely got got a snapping that's for sure um, but yeah, I think it's an interesting one. I think it's important that Victor and Rolf are yeah. on schedule, as you say. And I think also, like, there's not too far a leap of, of you know, these young people wearing a uh, slogan T-shirts. Mm. If you've got the money, why won't you wear a slogan for couture dress? Yeah, why you not? Know, people, you know, put your money where your mouth is a little bit. Literally, and, yeah. <laughs> literally put your money where your mouth is. Um, but it, that works. It, it gets, for some reason, these simple slogans been proved you know people use them in propaganda now like it's a huge thing these slogans somehow seem to burst way further than any room they're in and onto mm. the internet and on to the ether mm. and somehow have these messages and there's so anyway but i think it's so i think it's so <laughs> interesting that these silly slogans actually have more pa have more power and seem to spread messages faster than any marketing campaign can mm. you know so to put that onto a couture dress and say well it's just as relevant yeah i think it's really interesting and just fun yeah. to see fun interesting smart we're quite amused thank you Victor <laughs> and Rolf um, bye guys <laughs>